Decentralization is the point, and we're not talking enough about why the internet has a habit of producing companies that dominate their industry because of network effects. The answer is the decentralization and openness that only blockchain technology affords, says A's Paul Brody. By Paul Brody Ape 17, 2023 at 2.28 p.m. UTC updated April 17, 2023 at 2.58 p.m. UTC B. Paul Brody Ape 17, 2023 at 2.28 p.m. UTC updated April 17, 2023 at 2.58 p.m. UTC B. Paul Brody Ape 17. 2023 at 2:28 p.m. UTC updated April 17th 2023 at 2:58 p.m. UTC join the most important conversation in crypto and web3 taking place in Austin Texas April the 26th to the 28th dot secure your seat join the most important conversation in crypto and web3 taking place in Austin Texas April the 26th to the 28th dot secure your seat lots of critics have a hard time seeing the value proposition of blockchains and I can't entirely blame them as I often have to tell my clients, anything you can do on a blockchain you can do better, faster and cheaper with a centralized system. So why bother at all? Blockchains are absurdly complicated systems where everyone is checking everyone else's work. You thought public key encryption was tedious. Try wrapping your head around zero knowledge proofs. I have, frankly, given up and just trust the AR and D staff when they tell me the math works. Paul Brody is a global blockchain leader and a coin desk columnist. So what is the value proposition of a public blockchain? Why go to all that trouble? The answer is decentralization. It's the only thing you can follow the URL for the full article for more on this story. Visit the news article link.